everybody, how are you doing? I will be answering the questions you sent to the FEI through the different social media profiles they have. So with no further ado, let's get started. The first question is from Diana Durrance. What was the name of your first horse ever and what did he or she teach you the most? My first horse was actually a pony. His name was Caramelo and he was so naughty. But somehow we got along, he respected me and I was very straightforward with him. I must have been six or seven years old and we were quite successful actually. We even won the gold medal at the Spanish National Championships of Eventing. I must have been six or seven uh, years old and um, from what I remember, the thing he taught me the most was to dream big. I wanted that gold medal and it, it happened. We made it happen. The second question is from Mikey Critch. He asks, if you could ride any horse current or from history, who would it be? Without a doubt, Totilas. When I started uh, looking into dressage and really thinking of switching disciplines, because I must add, I used to be a show jumper, then an eventing rider, and then ultimately dressage. And uh, it was, I think, 2007 or 2008 and he was at his peak. I remember just seeing this beautiful black stallion with so much power, so much elasticity. I didn't know too much at the time, but he caught my eye. I was really, really impressed. And of course, he was in every single conversation. So that also helped, um, helped in me becoming starstruck with this, with this beautiful stallion. So, Totilas. The next question, Sputnik Ash 13. What's your favorite way to form connections with your horses? To spend time with them, to hang out, to get to know them in the stall, to take them on a walk, a hack, uh, to not just see how they are like in the arena, either when training or competing, but to really unlock everything about their personality and their character. That's, in my opinion, the best way to know your horse, to, to spend time with them. Andrew Phillip asks, which is your favorite Grand Prix movement? to ride and which is your least favorite. I, I really enjoy the canter tour overall. Um, of course, every horse is different, so they give you uh, different uh, highlights and not so highlights moments. Uh, so my favorite exercises to ride would be the flying changes, so the two tempis and the one tempis. And my least favorite exercise to ride with any horse, well, maybe not with any horse, but with most horses, is the walk. It's boring and if you don't have a great walk, it can be a struggle. So, flying changes, my, my favorite exercise, and the walk, my least favorite exercise. Fee Underdash2598 asks me, what would you do if you weren't a rider? Um, I, enjoy, I enjoy meeting people, speaking to people. Uh, that's why I, I'm a fan of social media, because I get to interact with so many people all over the world, even if I might not know them. I would like to do anything that would bring out the competitive edge uh, in me. Uh, international business, uh, I don't know, something of those sorts. Mainlin Hinson asks, have you had any funny or embarrassing moments during a test? Yes. Funny now, very embarrassing in the moment. Um, this was, I think, uh, maybe two years ago at the Spanish National Championships of Young Horses. I took there a few and, uh, you know, it can be a bit tricky sometimes with the tests of the young horses. And um, I, was, I was riding one of, one of my, one of my six-year-olds and we were having a super test. I was having a super feeling. Uh, I was feeling proud and I don't know what happened. In the last two exercises, right before the center line, I got confused with one of the other tests of the weekend and I just went completely blank. I, I did not remember. I, I didn't know what to do, where to go. So I made a mistake, they rang the bell, I went over to the judge at sea and they explained to me where I had to do the next exercise, what I had to do. And I guess I was feeling proud or I was just like so embarrassed that I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember, don't worry, I, I got it, don't worry. I turned around, picked up my gate and again, same mistake. Ding, ding, ding. I go over to the judge at sea and they're like, dude, we just told you what you had to do. What's wrong? Could you not hear us? Don't worry, don't worry. I got it, I got it. I don't know what happened. I, a, a bird flew by. And they said, okay, fine. This was back in the day when you had three chances before they eliminated you. Again, I made the same exact mistake. I probably didn't, I, I probably wouldn't have been able to tell you my name if you asked me at that moment. I don't know what happened. I went blank. I think it was out of the pure shock. All I remember was the face of the judges, like, what did you just do? You just blew your test. We were also one of the um, candidates to win the, the gold medal. We were having super scores th throughout the season. Anyway, I just remember the faces of the judges and my father's expression 
when he was ringside. It was not good. <laughs> Aina Montes asks, what is my favorite breed of horses and why? My two favorite breeds are the German Wormblatts and the PRE. Um, it's the horses that I've had the most experience with from what my father has purchased throughout uh, his career as a professional. And um, I guess out of the German Wormblatts, what I appreciate the most is, is their strength, their elasticity, and their conformation. They're horses that are naturally very athletic. And uh, from PREs, the traits I love the most is their character. They tend to be very noble horses with huge hearts and of course super talent for the collected work. Piaf, Passage, uh, Pirouettes. If you can have a PRE horse with enough height, enough size um, and a good walk and canter, I think you have uh, something special because they also tend to be uh, crowd pleasers and I love that. Maddie Ek 172 says in her question, what is the craziest thing you have ever done? I am not really a daredevil, that I must say, right, right out of the bat, but um, the experience that I've enjoyed the most and I've thought throughout the experience that it was the craziest thing I've ever done to date, to date was during the uh, Horse Pilot 2020 uh, shooting campaign in the French side of the Pyrenees. We were there for three days, exposed to all of the natural elements, uh, witnessing all of this beautiful uh, scenery, okay? But at the same time, it was so scary because we had to do a transhumans of wild horses. We had to ride horses without bridles, without bits in their mouths. It was just like, you know, uh, West Western riding. Like it was super wild and, and natural and free and it was beautiful. But in the moment, I thought I was crazy because there were so many dangers. I could have uh, fallen, they could have kicked me. I could have been injured so easily. And we were cantering down these really steep slopes uh, through some really small pathways on cliffs. Crazy. I don't think I've prayed so much in my life. Nathan Wooden asks, what is special about dressage and have you tried any other disciplines? What I enjoy most about dressage is that we are in constant pursuit of perfection, even though perfection doesn't exist. And because that's something so difficult for me to grasp, because I'm a perfectionist, I enjoy that. I appreciate that every horse is different and that brings a challenge in and of itself. And I think it's fascinating how you can have different types of tens. So you can have three horses that score a 10 on a specific exercise. And even though it might look similar, because of course there's the references that the judges follow, every horse is different. So for me, that's mind blowing. And I really, really admire that. Uh, and yes, I have tried other disciplines, uh, show jumping and uh, eventing. But the dressage is, for me, the most, uh, the most special. Noah Pale Stenkov asks me to describe the feeling of when I finished my best dressage test. So this was during the World Cup qualifier in Mechlin uh, last uh, December, uh, where we scored a massive 80.5% Quantico and I. Uh, that was my personal best and uh, wow, such an achievement. I, I still can't believe it, okay? It's mind blowing, 80.5%. Not too many Spanish combinations have achieved beating the 80% barrier. And I just remember excitement. I, I remember a feeling of satisfaction, right? I was so pleased with my horse's performance. So I was thrilled, yet I was feeling so like a warrior. I remember just, you know, punching the air and saying, yes, yes. And uh, yeah, I, I, all I remember is that I was having goosebumps throughout the test. And even though, of course, there's things that are always uh, improvable, uh, overall, I was so, so happy. And I loved that the crowd was so enthusiastic and they, cheered us on even throughout the test, which is so much fun to hear the clapping and the cheering and and wow, it was a feeling of fulfilled, a fulfilled uh, feeling, you know? We did our best and we placed third, huge personal best, we made it happen. Anything is possible. If you can put your mind to it, you can make it happen.